Hey guys, so <clears throat> I basically went the day without vlogging. I just wanted to, you know, take a break. Um, you know, obviously, as you guys know, things have been hard recently. I did realize that I kind of need to give you guys a bit of an update medically. And I was going to wait until tomorrow to vlog again, but I figured I could just put this video up. Um, and instead of it actually being a vlog, it'd just be me talking to you guys and explaining what's been going on. So I saw my psychiatrist on Monday. Today is, um, today, the vlog you're seeing, it's Thursday. So <clears throat> I saw my psychiatrist on Monday and I went in and was honest with him and was saying, you know, I'm having a lot of meltdowns. I'm crying like three times a day over stupid stuff. And I just, you know, I don't feel like I, I feel like I, I can't control, you know, my, my brain like whatsoever. Um, the anxiety is doing a lot better, but... I'm having these like breakdowns and um, he kind of just brushed it off but then was looking at my he was looking at my blood counts and my platelets are always low they've always been out of range they've always been low and this is something I've talked to doctors about before and they kind of just brush it off I mean significantly low but still um, not where I've seen like a hematologist or whatever um, and so yeah, so I just wasn't, I don't, I, my platelets have been low for years, so I, you know, I, I didn't really think that I really should do anything about it because this has been an ongoing thing for years. And like, in the grand scheme of blood work, I mean, having low platelets isn't really a terrible, terrible thing. Um, <clears throat> so he was obsessive about that. Then there was the, I'm um, taking an anti-seizure anxiety medication called Depakote, and, um, he wanted me to increase the, the dose again um, because my Depakote level has to be between 50 and 100 milligrams, I think, of a therapeutic dose. Otherwise, you know, like my body isn't absorbing enough of it. And even though I might be taking a higher dose, my body might not, might not be taking it incorrectly. And then, you know, it's basically like I'm not getting the right amount of medication. So he wants that level to be repeated. Um, and... Um, he needs, I think he wants other types of blood work, but then now he's obsessing over dealing with more of the medical aspect of my life right now, which is the opposite of what I've been trying to do. I want to focus on how I'm doing psychologically, and I think medicine does have something to do with it, but I wanted to take a break from, you know, going and seeing specialists all the time because it's become so overwhelming, and it's just like, it's just too much to ha handle, and... I am in a weird psychological state right now and I don't want to subject myself to situations where I know I'm going to be crying a lot or be frustrated or be upset and angry, you know, and I just kind of want to take a break from all of that. But he was kind of, you know, doing the reverse. What pissed me off about this whole situation is when this stuff first started really happening with my stomach in September, I had to fight to get medical care because they were kind of throwing everything on as being psychological problems. And now I'm like, no medical, like, I don't want to deal with this stuff anymore. And now, um, and I'm pushing psychological, but everybody's pushing medical. And it's just, it's like, you guys are thinking about things way too late now. I just, I'm so tired of dealing with the medical aspect. Like, I just, you know, I don't know. So it's just like, come on. Um, but I'm going to wait. Um, my platelets were low, my level wasn't in really a therapeutic dose, it was like a 52 out of a, um, you know, 50 to 100 was 52, so it was normal, but it was low. Um, because I'm having tremors, my neurologist wants me to see a movement specialist, I have to see, um, he's, he's moving to North Carolina, so I have to change to another doctor in his practice. They also want me to see some sort of an epilepsy doctor. Um, uh, man, there's other things. My mom's really pushing for me to see my psych, uh, my gastroenterologist again, but I really just don't, again, want to deal with that. I don't really want to touch anything because, um, I've worn myself out medically and I'm at a point where, um, I just, I don't want help from my gastroenterologist. I want to see my pain management doctor and I want to see my psychiatrist, but now my psychiatrist hasn't really done anything to help me. 
So it's it's basically this big mess <laughs> and I'm I'm so messed up mentally right now and I'm having so many meltdowns where I'm just hysterically crying a couple times a day and I don't want to be like this but I'm kind of stuck because my psychiatrist is now like taking everything so slowly and um, you know I just I'm tired and there's so much more medically they're oh they're worried about bone loss because of the EDS um, and the medication I'm on they're really worried about blood counts because um, they think my body's gonna be re really reactive with the Depakote and my blood counts so I have to keep that um, you know being seen maybe like every other week or whatever and they're really worried about osteoporosis and bone loss because of the medications coupled with the EDS and um, potential malnutrition issues and stuff like that. Um, so they probably want me to do a bone scan at some time soon. My mom wants me to have a pill cam study done um, and a few other gastrointro gastrointestinal, tests, uh, gastrointestinal tests, and I just don't want to do them, but there is something clearly wrong with my stomach. I shouldn't be relying on pain medication to be able to eat. Um, and I'm still getting sick. And oh, because I haven't vlogged actually. Last night, um, I ended up actually getting so nauseous and so sick to my stomach, I fell asleep on my bathroom floor for a half an or for three hours on half hour. Um, you know, I'm having all of this really severe pain that I've been talking about recently. And there's just been so much going on that I just want to just completely detach myself from a lot of this medical stuff. I'm going to be working part-time very soon. I'm going to put my application out after I come back from the vacation. We're working with the vac vacation so that we can accommodate me so we can just do something normal. I'm putting um, an order in for a two-in-one walker wheelchair, a rollator. Um, I'm going to hopefully be ordering that over the weekend or the beginning of next week. And we're going to just do as much accommodation with this vacation as we possibly can. And we're just going to enjoy the hell out of our... like. You know, out of ourselves, each other, and the trip, and the country, you know, and just focus on the experience because there has been so much that's gone on and I just need a break and we need a break because it's difficult to be in a normal relationship when, you know, one of those people is really, really sick. Um, so we deserve to have a good vacation. He deserves to have a good vacation with the amount of caretaking he's done for me when, you know, he really didn't have to, you know. He could have ran away and he hasn't. Um, and no matter what, he's very supportive of everything. Um, so there's definite. Oh, the other thing that they're concerned about is hair loss because of the Depakote. Again, it's something I'm not. I'm not worried about, but everybody else is. But basically, what I'm trying to say is my my health really hasn't taken a nosedive necessarily recently, but like has not been in a good place. And I'm just so, like, I'm worried about my psychological health at this point. Make sure pain is covered and try to work on how I handle things. And I don't want to do anything other than that. Um, there's other things, like I've said it 50 gazillion times in this video. There's other things that I'm, I'm not um, remembering. But it's a lot of serious things. And it's just stuff I really don't want to deal with. Um, so I'm sorry that today wasn't a vlog. I didn't really do anything vloggable in the first place, um, but um, I did want to update you guys and I really didn't want to take it, take time out of the vlog tomorrow to explain all of this stuff that's kind of transpired over the past week. So tomorrow is going to be a normal vlog um, and again, thanks for your patience everybody. I try to be as real as I can on here. Um, I don't want to sit around and be like, yeah, everything's great, we're going to move forward because that's not how it is all the time. You know, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to tell you guys what's going on. And I feel very weak. I feel very weak right now emotionally and that's why I'm having these meltdowns. And I don't want to lie to you guys and be like, I have these meltdowns, but it's okay. I want to be honest. I'm having these meltdowns. I'm having trouble controlling them. I'm not going to sit and lie to you guys, you know. Um, that's basically it. So I'm going to do a couple things with my succulents. I'm going to have some mango sorbet. Um, and I'm going to hopefully go to sleep somewhat soon. And I will see you guys tomorrow. As always, thank you guys for watching.